What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more Series 12 competitive ranked double battles in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an absolute banger of a team that features G, Max, Pikachu, and Life Orb Cinderace. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit. Click that big red subscribe button. It only takes a second of your guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. But like I said today, we're rocking out with G-Max Pikachu. And I haven't used this Pokemon in so long, but it's definitely very, very strong in certain situations. Like if you get him in at certain times, it's guaranteed paralyzes on two Pokemon every single time it uses G-Max that is really, really busted in my opinion, but he is a glass cannon. He gets hit once, he's pretty much dead. He cannot soak up any shots, but he can do some big damage. And like I said, get paralyzes across the board, which helps your team get speed control and just roll out from there. But let's get started here with the team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Wimscott, one of the best support mods in all of Pokemon Series 8 or Generation 8. We got the Prankster ability. Alongside with that, Eject Button as his item. We're rocking Tailwind. We're rocking Helping Hand. Then we got Taunt and we got Moonblast for its final two moves. Right next to him is going to be Zacian. Zacian, just a dominant Pokemon. Actually, both are restricted mods are probably the two best restricted mods in this series. We got Interpret Sword. We got Rusted Sword as its ability and item. And then we're rocking Iron Head. Close combat, play rough, and protect as its moveset. Nothing new for a Zacian. Middle left is going to be Kyogre. Like I said, another busted restricted mod. We got Drizzle to set the rain. We got Mystic Water to boost water damage. And then we got the Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset on this Pokemon as well. Right next to him is the Pokemon on why I chose this team. We got G-Max Pikachu, rocking that lightning rod to soak up some electric shots. We got that light ball to actually make him do more damage. And then we got Thunder, Fake Out for flinches. We got Surf, and then we got Helping Hand for our last move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Cinderace, who is just really, really strong. I think Cinderace with the Life Orb is one of the best Pokemon in this game. I just think it can come in so many different situations due to its ability library. Make some change typings so I can switch out. Nothing can really hit me super effective unless they make a hard read on me. And on top of that, all of our moves are going to be stab damage. So we got high jump kick. We got bounce. We got sucker punch for first turn priority. And last but not least, we got to have Pyro Ball on a Cinderace. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Mel and Didi. And this Mel and Didi can hit really, really hard. It's got the Psychic Surge. It got that Focus Sash. But more importantly, it's rocking Trick Room and Imprison. So we can Imprison Trick Room to make our opponent not be able to use it. I haven't used an Imprison Trick Room team ever since like Series 6. It's been a while for me to use an Imprison Trick Room. Last time I used it was when Chandelure was in the meta. That, that goes to show how long ago I haven't used Imprison Trick Room. And nobody really has been using it. So this one's going to be fun. We're going to be able to rock out with it. But last two moves we're rocking out with is Expanding Force and Dazzling Gleam. One stab and one coverage move. Guys, you want to try the scene for yourself? I don't even have to tell you guys. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this G-Max Pikachu Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys. Going up against a very, 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 very... Very, very strong team for Series 12. He's got the Zassian Kyogre combo, just like us. But then he's rocking with Swift Swim Seismitoad, Zapdos, who is one of the best Dynamax Pokemon. If I had to guess, he's rocking the Life Orb with that. And then he has Indeedee and Wimscott. So like I said, really, really strong team. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I would say Pikachu, but I feel like with that Seismitoad on the field, it is definitely really, really scary. So I think Wimscott could be a great lead. Zassian could also be a decent lead. Hmm. I think Cinderace could be good here, too. As long as I can switch my typing. As long as I can switch my typing, I feel like Cinderace could be phenomenal. I think it could be really, really good. So I might want to lead Wimscott. Or I could lead Zacian. Zacian could be a solid lead. Hmm. Hmm. So, yeah. Let's go Cinderace. Let's go Kyogre. And let's go Zacian. I do dig this. I do dig this. Like I said, if we can get Cinderace to change his typing, I think we could be sitting in a great spot. In a lovely spot. So I'm going to go in with these two. I'm hoping I can pop a Tailwind and then maybe... Get hit and stay alive and just eject button out and get out Zassian or either Kyogre. I think they could both be really, really good. But the problem here is going to be that size move. He's definitely bringing that size platoon. Swift Swim does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage. Oh, that thing could be holding the life. And then Zapdos could be safety goggle. So we'll see. That's one. Or one could be holding Mystic Water. The other could be holding a life orb. You never know. You never know. But probably size platoon is holding that life orb. Now that I think about it. And Zapdos could be holding something else such as like a berry. Lumberry, Citrus Berry, or even the Safety Goggles. I've seen a few Zapdoses. you rocking out Safety Goggles as of recently. But he's going to end up leading the Zacian. Okay, I'm cool with that. Alongside with the Wimscott. So, Zacian and Wimscott come out here. I could Dynamax right off the rip. And just set up a Tailwind. I mean, who's he going to go into? Who's he really going to go into? He could go into Size of Toad in that slot. So, I could switch typings and just go for an Airstream. Wait, I have Airstream on him. I can see a double tail one coming out here. Yeah, I could go into here. I could go straight into this. 
The thing is, Zacian's got to be protecting, right? He's got to be protecting or swapping. Knowing that my Cinderace is on this field. 100%, right? 100%. Got to be, got to be. So hopefully he swaps into, like, say, like, Kyogre or even Seismitoad, I can see. Thinking we're going into a fire move right into a slot. But now we're going to slide this over, try to take speed control with this Tailwind because I can see us both doubling down onto the Tailwinds. And then go on from here. And then we get this Airstream damage off as well. We shall see how this one plays out. Let's see. So there's the withdrawal. Oh, he withdraws Whimsy. He's going to go into here. He's going to double down with Kyogre. Maybe Plasmatoad here. Maybe Protect. Go for a double swap. I can definitely see that happening. I'm actually hoping he goes for a double swap. Because we'll have Tailwind and Airstream. And no, he doesn't swap at all. Show me Protect, maybe. Show me Protect. So he swaps here. Thinking we're going for a Fire move. Hopefully, I'm hoping he Protects. Because this could definitely be scary for us. It'd definitely be scary for us. But as long as I can get off this tailwind, maybe, just maybe, that, that Zassian's going after my, uh, my Wimscott. But let's see what he does here. He's staying in. He is staying in. So we get off this tailwind. And we're going to switch our typing over here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. But if we are, if he was thinking we're staying fire, there's no way he would go for a Behemoth Blade on this. But look at that damage right there. Big old damage on the Kyogre. We got speed all day here. God, you can take out my Wimscott. I don't, I don't really care for that anymore. So I can just bring out Kyogre from here. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Behemoth Blade. And he's going into... That seems like Cinderace, right? Go in the Wimscott, please. It is Cinderace. Can you eat that? Bro, that's so broken. That is so broken. But what a play by him. But what a play by him to stay in there. Wow, what a great play by him. I give it to him all day. But dude, that, that is honestly... That is honestly so broken. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous how strong that is. It is ridiculous how strong Behemoth Wade really is. I kid you not. It can pretty much take out any Dynamax Pokemon. That is, it's not very effective to. All right. So from here, I'm going to double down into you. I might as well, right? Or I can help hand this. Could indeed help hand this. It goes straight into a Water Spell. That's going to be my play. I know we outspeed these guys. Might swap into a uh, Seismitoad here. But if that's the case, I mean, that's fine. He Swift Swim. It's not like he has water absorb on him. I'm with it. I'm with it. So I'm just going to help him hand this thing. Dang, that thing's so broken. It's so broken. So that's definitely going to have to be his Dynamax Pokemon of choice, right? Hands down. But as long as we can get this speed. Which we do have. We do have right now. So tough, though. It is so tough. And we're wasting out rain turns. Which... The rain. The rain. The rain. The rain. He's going to withdraw his ass. He's going to size with it, right? It's got to be the Toad or Whimsy. i go back into Whimsy. Okay, I'm with it. Helping hands can come out here. We're going to get off some big old damage with this uh, water spout. Kai Ogre should definitely drop out here. And Wimscott should not take this too fairly, right? Should do some nice damage onto it. Yeah, beautiful. Dope. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. If I knew Wimscott was coming here, I probably would have doubled down in that slot. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. So now this thing can set up a talent or I can taunt it, which I'm going to do. I am going to taunt it right now here. And he's going to go in Seismitoad. And from here, I, what should I do? He's obviously going to Dynamax. You know, I'm just going to taunt this thing. And I still outspeed it. Wait, do I outspeed it? He swift swim. Or tailwind. Who is normally faster? I feel like Kyogre is normally faster. Kyogre should definitely be faster than that seismic toad. So going into another water spout could definitely be our play. Even though it's normally effective, it allows us to take out the Whimscott and kind of just go from there. And the reason we are taunting is because I know my Whimscott will outspeed his Whimscott. And it will allow him not to get off a tailwind, helping hand. Whatever he is trying to do. So doing that could be really, really good for us. So he ends up Dynamax. He's probably going after me, right? My Kyogre. Hopefully he's going after my Wimscott. Let's just see. Let's just see. Honk should come out here first. Yes, yeah, sir. We taunt him. We say, hey, yo, knock your stuff off. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. But, yo, that Behemoth Blade really did me dirty. Yeah, he was going for a Tailwind. That's lovely. Water Spout's going to poke here. We off. Oh, some. Ah, some lovely damage. Some lovely damage. You love to see. Okay. So he's going to go for the Quake here. He's going to go for that special defense boost. And is that going after Kyogre? Probably. Yeah. Kyogre soaks it. We love to see that. So we soak up. He is special defense boosted. And I'm thinking if we have one more turn left in Tailwind, I think a helping hand into a water spout is to play. But if we don't, we have to set up another Tailwind. We have to. Let's see. We can't go for another water spout. We have to go for an Origin. 
So how many turns off the tail? Probably one, right? We have one. We do indeed have one. So helping hands are play. Helping hand is our play. Into an origin pulse. It's an absolute must. It's an absolute must. In the rain, we're thriving here. Rain should end soon, so it's swift from the size to really lose out on some speed. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be such a close battle. If I can get off this origin pulse on one of his Pokemon that aren't protecting, then we're sitting good. But if he double protects, then then he has a shot at, at win this battle. But I, th I think if he only if he doesn't double protect, we should win this battle. I don't, I don't think he protected one of them. I don't think he protected one of them. We got a land Sword Pulse here. No. Who, Zassian dodged it. Can we take out you at least? Get him out of here. Let's go. Okay, that's a big, 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 big time KO considering we still have Zassian in the back end. We can tailwind up for speed. We can help a hand. We can do a lot here. We can do a lot. Okay, so that's nice. Behemoth Blade's flying through here. And now we're, sit we're sitting in this position right here. He's going to take out my Wimscott, right? Yeah, Wimscott finally drops out after him just allowing my one of the best support monsters to stay in the battle the whole time. We were helping handing. We were taunting. We tailwind. The only move we didn't use was an attacking move, and it worked out perfectly for us. So now we can bring out Zassian. This one's pretty much GG's. Wrap it up, baby. Even though he took out my Cinderace in one shot, we got off some huge damage onto his Kyogre and really kind of started to control that battle after that because of that plus one speed. I really do like it. I really do like how he played this one. So from here, we obviously gotta go for this Behemoth Blade. Actually, I could go for a close combat, but Behemoth Blade would do more. The Behemoth Blade into an Origin Pulse. Let's rock out of there. That's pretty much GG's. Cancel the battle, dude. He canceled it. There it is. 1-0 to get this video started. Besides losing our Dynamax Pokemon in turn one, I would say our first battle was successful. 1-0 to get this video started. We're hopping into our second battle instead of going F up against a Zacian and Kyogre team. We're going up against a Zacian and Groudon team with Amoongus. G Max Charizard, which is always a threat. Then he got Porygon 2 alongside with that Regilecki. And I feel like he's going to lead that Porygon 2 and maybe try to trick him if we go on the Whimscott. But I am still going to go on the Whimscott because I could taunt that as well. So I'm going to go on the Whimscott. I think Cinderace needs another chance here. I think Cinderace needs another chance. So we're going to go Cinderace. And I think we're going to go same squad. Or I can go. No, we're not going to go G Max Pikachu. I think we're going same squad here. I do like it. We'll definitely show off G-Max Pikachu in that third and final battle. I just feel like in this situation, this is a, a lot better of an option. For sure, for sure. I could have actually went into Pikachu here. I do have Geyser. I do have Geyser that can uh, change up weather for the ground up. We could have definitely done that. Which I probably should have, considering I didn't show off Pikachu in the first battle. But it's all good. I definitely got to get him in the third battle because he's going to be the thumbnail Pokemon. Everybody loves themselves some good old Pikachu. And I haven't used a G-Max Pikachu team. So it's really cool to use him. He's going to go on to P2, which I thought, and I'm just going to taunt that. I just think taunting that is going to be the play, and maybe just Dynamax and throwing a, a fire move straight into that thing is 100% our play. Right? If he takes out my Wimscott, he takes out my Wimscott. I think we're fine with that. I just think we have to taunt that. We, yeah, we have to taunt it. We have to taunt that Pokemans. We'll taunt it, and then we'll go into a lovely little Dynamax. If I go into a Max no. Good, but I just think G-Max Fireball is our play. It does so much damage. And if he swaps into anything else, even if it's Charizard, it's still going to do a good amount of damage onto that thing. It goes into Groudon, even more damage because it's not even fire typing. It's neutral on it, and it will give us the uh, bulk of the damage because of the drought. So we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. The only thing I can see that could happen is we taunt that thing. He stays in. He goes for Behemoth Blade again. Ooh, that could be tough. That could be tough. If he stays in, he goes for Behemoth Blade on the Cinderace. It could be bad. I think he, I think he's weighing out his options here. Maybe he'll protect. Maybe he'll protect. I'm actually kind of hoping he protects. If he just Behemoth Blades me again, that'll be rough. That'd be rough. That would be real rough. If we go back to back battles where Cinderace just gets dropped, and I mean dropped by Behemoth Blade in one turn. Because in this case, we wouldn't be able to get off our turn because we're not tailwind. We're taunting him. Let's see what he does here. He ends up protecting. Okay, cool. I'm with that. Because now I can get off Tailwind next turn and I can still taunt the speed too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. He falls for taunt here. We're going to the fireball. How much damage are we going to do through protect? Gotta still be a decent amount, right? Love to see it. So there it is. I think he has to swap. I think he has to swap here. He goes for a trick room. A good call for us. I think he has to swap here, right? Do I still pose that threat over there? Because who could he swap into? Groudon, Charizard. I'm thinking of just knuckling over onto this slot. 
getting that attack boost like we still do a lot of damage I think we have to pose this threat over here he can't protect anymore we have to pose this threat of going right here we have to it's a must it's a must it's a must even though he withdraws it we have to do it. go on the ground on maybe let's see um ooh. okay okay <laughs> i'm with Amoon gets into the slot that we just dropped the fireball onto and he shows his whole team and i feel like he's like okay i have to let Amoongus go down here i feel like that was his thought process i think that was his thought process was like dude i have to allow Amoongus to drop out here we do this be able to dump on you you're gone and of course he's sashed I'm gonna use the sash to his advantage here and from here i have to go into another fireball into groudon and i have to just moon blast over there and I'm cool if he goes for a Rage Powder because Women's Cot should be able to outspeed and then we can just go from here. I could swap my typing. Saying he's going for a Blades. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. He's got to be going for a Blades, right? What other move is he really going to go for? Is he going to go into a Fire Move onto me and read that I'm switching to the Flying? No shot. No shot, right? No shot. So... Hopefully he's going for a quake. He's gonna Dynamax his ground. This could be a this could be pretty much the game right here. This could be the game. If I can dodge this move, this could be a huge turn for us. If I can dodge this max quake, we're gonna hope he's going into that. We shall see. Because I was gonna go into that power ball. I was gonna say, yo, that can still do some good damage onto this ground on. And some Dynamax ground on, which we do not see often. Rage Power does come through here. And like I said, I'm totally fine with that because Whitman Sky outspeeds. Moon Blast is gonna fly through here. Oh, we out wait. You outspeed the whimsy? That's pretty nutty. Dang it. That's rough, though. But we do change typing, so this could still be good. This could still be good. Wimscott does not outspeed the Cinderace. I thought it would. I thought it would. Wimscott is usually fastest. I know it's Prankster usually, but still, even without it, it's usually flying in the speed category. So we change our typings. We're still hoping this dude's going for a ground move. Still hoping. Moon Blast flying through here. How much damage are we really doing? Not bad, whimsy. You could do better. And this thing is going to go for... Oh, he, he plays a good, good card there. Good card there. Great card there. Great card there. We eat. We eat. We're going to start taking buff of damage. But that was a wonderful play by him. Considering it was like, if I stay fire typing, it's still super effective. If I, if I switch to flying, it's still super effective. So, I give him mad props there. Buff is going to come out here. Chip up some damage. We might be able to eat up one more buff. That only did 9 damage. Right? We were at 21, right? For my Cinderace I'm talking about. A great play by him. Kept him in the battle on that one. For sure, for sure. He's going to go into back into Zacian. And from here, he could definitely protect. And I'm going to read the protect. We got, we have to, right? We have to read the protect. We have to read this protect. It's a must to read the protect here. It's a must. How many turns are left in Tailwind? Two. This works great for us. This works great. Works great. Uh, from here, I could helping hand. I think I'm just going to double down. And Moon Blast into... Hmm. Fireball's probably your best bet, right? What's, what's this most damage? 120, 130. 130 could be good. Did we go for it? Oh, heck yeah, we're going for it. We're definitely going for it. We gotta be going for it. Zestin gotta be prepared. Oh no, he's rocking. Quick attack! Bro, I never use his Ashen that rocks quick attack, but I'm always going up against Ashen that's rock quick attacks. What a play by him. He's gonna pick up the double KO easily, but yo, we got we got we got a stud in the back end. We got a stud in the back end right here. He's gonna change the weather back there. He's gonna take us out. That's fine. We have a stud of a Kai Ogre in the back end with us. With it with one more turn left in Tailwind. And we're gonna be able to change up this weather. So we're gonna be able to get after it. Might try to waste out my tailwind turns. Might try to do that, but look at this. Look at this, yo. Look at this. We love to see it. We love to see it. So, win or lose, this is a good battle. This is a solid battle. So, I think he has one more. Does he have one more Pokemon in the back? This is a 2v3, but we have the upper hand here. Right? Because if we can land this uh, this uh, Water Spout, it's GG's. If we can land this Water Spout, it's over with. It's an easy double kill. It's night night to both of them. He could double he could double protect, but even if he quick attacks, it's he's still so. So, we do that. Uh... I do I go after him? Zassian could protect. Zassian could definitely protect. And I do not see this, this... What's called eating it up? 
still kind of want to double down in this thing. Zacian is a Pokemon I, I most likely see protecting. But we shall see. We shall see. And I know Water Spout will be able to take it out. I think his best bet would either be double protecting or going into a uh, a quick attack on my Ky Kyogre to try to neglect some damage. He might hard swap the ground on just to play, play for late game. Let's see. He still has one more Pokemon in the back, which is the Wimps. Oh, no, it's the P2. So he does end up protecting that. So great turn by me to double down into this thing. Hopefully he's not Garden. He's not. Okay, that's later Kai or later Groudon. You are gone. Get out my face. Get out my face. This might just go on its own. So broken. It is so broken. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry that your Groudon died today. Why does it do double damage to Dynamax Pokemon and then outspeed pretty much every single Dynamax Pokemon? That is broken. It is unfair. It is unfair. It is unfair. Like, they should change what that move does. Change what that move does. Hands down. Hands down. Or just lower that base power. Lower that base power to, like, what is it at now? 90? I think it's at 90, right? Or it might even be at 100. Lower it to, like, 70-ish? 65? And then keep it the same? I feel like that could be really good. I feel like it could be. But in this case, I'm going to rock an Origin Pulse just in case that thing hits upon my Kyogre. And he might pop a Trick Room. He might go for Double Protect, but it might be like that. I just don't think he's going to land at Double Protect. All right, cool. He must play Flying Through here. This will probably KO it, right? This will probably KO it. And we're looking good today. Yo, 2-0. Getting him out of here. Mwah! Mwah! Jeans is rolling in Series 12. I've just been playing so, so well. So, so well, Origin Pulse comes out here. We use Origin Pulse over Water Spout just in case he was protecting or like something like a quick attack was coming in here. I just felt like I had to do this. There's the Trick Room. There is the Trick Room. Actually, I don't know why I did that. Why did I go into an Origin Pulse? I just, I just thought maybe he would quick attack or something along those lines. That's fine. In this case, we could go for a Water Spout, but I'm going to go into an Origin Pulse now that he has speed because he might just uh, go into a... Uh, a T bolt, but it's pretty much GG's. We have two super effective shots flying through here. He goes for eerie impulse. He's dead anyway. Wow. GG's 2 0 for jeans. I've been rolling. I've been rolling in series 12. We're gonna try to grab ourselves a perfect record. I mean Mr. Origin Pulse anyway, but hey, close combat's flying through here. That's GG's. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get that little duck out my game. 2 0. Let's hop into our third and final battle and grab ourselves a perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that perfect record, and we already locked in Pikachu. I do not care what this guy has. I got to use Pikachu for the video. You guys know we're 2 0, so we guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We're trying to showcase off the Pikachu in this third and final battle. We're going up against a Kyogre and Ice Rider Calyrex team that also features Wims, or not Wimscott, uh, Mimikyu. So I got to bring my Wimscott just in case I got to taunt that. And then he also has that Rotom Heat, the Tapu Koko, and then the Roll. Okay. Roll Boom is definitely scary. Definitely scary. Got to bring Zacian, and I might just not even bring Kyogre here. Might not even bring Kyogre. I'm not even going to bring Kyogre because, you know, every time I bring Kyogre up against a Rillaboom, it's just over with. Thing comes in here, Grass Guy dead. It's just, I don't even get a turn. So why even bring him? Why even bring him if he's probably going to bring that move? I'm just going to lock in that Cinerace. We're going to try to G-Max this Pikachu right off the rip and get rolling. And get rolling. So I could taunt right off the bat if he does leave Wimscott, which I could definitely see being an option. Let's see who he leads first. And then we'll make the calls. Then we'll make the calls. Because Mimikyu and Rillaboom. But it can fake me out. It can definitely fake me out. Uh, which he's probably going to do. He's probably going to fake me out. And I'm just going to paralyze both of these guys. He's got to fake me out, right? He's got to fake me out. Hmm. That's tough. That's tough. I think I still Dynamax. I think I still just G-Max up. Get the paralyzes off. Or, what's Pikachu speed? What's Pikachu speed? What's Pikachu speed at? It should be faster than Rillaboom, right? You know what? Start off with that. We'll start off with that. We had our options here. We had our options. Mm. I hate this game. I hate it. Hate this game. Jeans hates this game. I hate this game. Yeah. I hate it. Game. 
I don't like this game one bit. No, nah, nah, well, not one bit. We're going to that. We gotta take off this guy's here. Dude, dude, can't do it anymore. Oh my lord, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. Once we make a good play, every time we make a good play, it's a mental herb. And I was thinking about it, it's like it's a mental herb probably, but like what could I have done to kind of counter that? I couldn't have done anything. He had fake out ready to go. He's gonna fake out my whimsical. I couldn't double down and get some damage off. He's got the disguise. It's just like, dude, mental her whims or Mimikyu is just, it's too good. It's too good to be stopped. Mimikyu's gonna end up protecting. I'm fine with that. What's he gonna go into here from here? Maybe glide? Just glide to peak. Peak says, that's tasty snack. Good work, peak. Good work, peak. We'll get paralyzes on both these dudes. Good work, peak. All day, peak. <laughs> All day peak, Pikachu just can't take a shot. He hits like a truck, but he can't take a shot. But the double paralyze is going to be huge. Going to be enormous. Let's see what he does from here. We gotta take off the disguise here, so I could double down into Whimsy. Or not Whimsy. Uh Mimikyu. I keep going on Whimscott. Uh who is faster? Is Whimscott faster? Please show me Whimscott's faster. Just in case, like, he's paralyzed this turn. Yeah, okay, Whimscott is faster. We're gonna double down into this movie. It's just too tough, man. It's just real tough. I could've actually, I probably should've guarded it. And of course he's not paralyzed. I probably should've guarded that turn. I definitely should've guarded it. But do we even have a guard move? What are we rocking with? Surf, Volt Crash. Yeah, we do have a guard move. He's gonna go for a play rough. That's gonna jack button us out. <sighs> the toughest turns of all time. Real tough. But luckily we didn't bring Kyra, because like I said, Grass God would just ripped up into us. We go into these two. And uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What the, like what do I do? I mean probably the best play would have been if that thing was mental herb was going into Cinderace here. Turn one. That's probably what I should have done. It hits through abilities, right? I think it's max move hits through abilities. That could have been our best move. But I could end up uh, going for like, good, mm, good power ball and protect. Definitely gonna power ball in this slot. I got, I gotta take off this thing. I gotta take off this. You guys are still paralyzed, which is good. We're just wasting out church room turns, which is really good for us. We know he still has his dynamax, but these guys are paralyzed here, and we're waiting for like a turn where these guys can't move. He's just gonna protect. Nims. He's gonna die. I'm like, dude, I'm fine with that. But I have to take him out soon. High horsepower coming in. Eat this up. Oh, it's going to Zassy. I thought it was going into. I thought it was going into uh, Cinder. So we can go into this. Bop you. Let's so see, see you later, Roll Boom. And this was not looking good because at this point, he just brings out Calyrex. And we do have Sucker. Oh, we do have Sucker Punch. But, but the real question is does he Dynamax Calyrex? That's the real question. Does he Dynamax Calyrex? Because we have one more turn left in Trick Room. We do have one more turn left in Trick Room. Oh, he's going to bring out Kyogre. This is tough. This is real tough. Hmm. What do I do here? What do I do? Because how many turns left in turn? We, we gotta think a lot for this one. One. Uno. Uno more turns in turn. So he has speed for that one turn. Um, I think I have to protect my other boy, and I think I have to. I think I have to take out this dude's disguise. I think that's a must. I think taking off this guy's disguise is a huge turn for us. I should just went into Sucker Punch because we're dead, aren't we? We eat that. Should have went to Sucker Punch. What, what am I thinking? That was dumb play by me. Real dumb play by me. Real dumb play by me. I didn't even, like, I, I thought it in my head. I was just like, Kyogre's faster than us. That had to have been a Sucker Punch there. Had to have been a Sucker Punch just to take off that thing's disguise. It would have gave us, given us a chance. Because now we can set up another free Trick Room if he wants to. Mm. Oh, I could taunt it here. I could taunt it. Oh, uh, dude, I hate this game. I don't like this game one bit. He still has Dynamax. <laughs> this is so tough. 
This is so tough. So we have to taunt that here. This thing's still paralyzed, man. I'm gonna taunt it and I gotta play rough it. I gotta play rough. I gotta do damage onto it and hope that he goes for a water spout. He's probably gonna protect, right? But if he protects and tries to go for that trick room, we have taunt flying in here. And he's just dynamax. Okay, it's over. It is over. He ends up dynamax. He's just gonna she's gonna seal the deal here by going into a geyser here. But luckily we didn't get swept. Luckily we did not get swept. Dude, the paralyzers were not doing anything. Is he A, they were in trick room, so the, the, the minus speed wasn't doing anything. And B, we got no paralyzed turns off of that. Let's see, maybe we'll get one here, which won't do anything at this point. Will not do anything, so we taunt. We get an effort that way. Let's see what he does. Oh, yeah, he's paralyzed now. Once we taunt him. <laughs> Play rough poking here. Some big damage. Some big damage. Go after Wimscott. Go after Wimscott. No way he goes after Wimscott. That's assy, right? Yeah, eat it somehow? Maybe? Probably? No? Nope, <laughs> not one bit. Not even close. Not even close. Kyogre, too, too strong, but yeah, that's going to be the battle. That is going to be the battle. If we ate that, we did have a shot, but probably not anyway. I'm just going to run this one. That's going to be 2-1 for today's video. Solid battles. Solid battles all around. Grabbed ourselves a winning record for today's video, but we didn't really get to show off GMAX Pikachu too, too much. We got the Dynamaxim in one battle, and he pretty much just got dumped on by a grassy guy. Like I said in the beginning during the team preview, Pikachu is legit a glass cannon. He is a glass cannon. It hits like a truck and his paralyzes go a long way. But once he gets tapped up, he's pretty much going to die. He pretty much gets one tapped by everything. But still, the team all around is amazing. We got to show off the Cinderace. We got the Zassy Kyogre out there. Wimscott was amazing. Even though I probably wish it would have had a different item. It's all good from there. But hey, winning record. We had a great set of battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.